Let's find the equation in slope intercept form of a line passing through two points. So this is going to have a couple of steps to it. So first thing, we got to know slope intercept form because that's the end goal, right? Slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y intercept. But if we only have two points to start, we're going to have to start with point slope form, meaning y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point that we are given. And if you're given two points, you can use either one. They're both going to work. And m, again, is your slope. Remember, to find slope, we're going to take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's jump in and get started. Let's write an equation in slope-intercept form passing through 6, 3, and 8, 4. Step one is to find the slope. Slope being y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to use this as the 1s and this one as the 2s. So my y2 value is 4. And I'm going to subtract y1, which is 3. And I subtract then x2, which is 8, minus x, uh, x1, which is 6. And my slope here is 1 half. Okay, step 1. Step 2, I'm going to use point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, I know I need point slope form because I have slope and I have a point. I actually have two points. It only takes one, and it doesn't matter which one you use. I'm going to use 8, 4 because that just looks prettier to me. But mathematically, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. So I'm going to bring in my y stays y, right, because you always need an x and a y in your formula, the plain x, y. If it has a little number next to it, that means it should have a numerical value. So y minus my y value of 4 equals my slope times x minus my x value of 8. Now, this is point slope form, but that is not the answer. So I'm going to distribute. So I still have y minus 4 equals 1 half times x is 1 half x, and 1 half times negative 8 is negative 4. Because half of 8 is 4, and a positive times a negative is a negative. Now, to get y by itself, because of slope-intercept form, I add 4 to both sides, and my answer is 1 half, excuse me, y equals 1 half x. Negative 4 plus 4 cancels out, and that's what I'm left with. We're going to do a couple more examples. Watch as many as you'd like. And next one, write an equation in slope-intercept form through the points negative 3, 1, and negative 5, 7. So my slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I get 6 over negative 2, so my slope is negative 3. Again, I'm going to use uh, the negative 5, 7 point. So y minus y1 equals negative slope times x minus x1. Now notice, neg times, uh, excuse me, x minus a negative 5, that's the same as x plus 5. So... I have y minus 7 equals negative 3x minus 15. I'm going to add 7 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 3x minus 8. And there is my equation in slope-intercept form. So you'll notice you have to start in point-slope form first. You distribute, move the value away from y, and then you're in slope-intercept. Write an equation in slope-intercept form through the points of 4, 0, and 0, negative 3. So we have ourselves here, our x and our y-intercepts. So again, let's find slope. Negative 3 minus 0, 0 minus 4. So this gives me a negative 3 over negative 4. Two negatives is a positive. So 3 fourths. Now, if you look at this one, hopefully it screams at you, 0, negative 3 is the y-intercept. So if you see that, if one of the points you are given is the y-intercept, then you are on the road to ease because y equals mx plus b. You have m and you have b. So y equals 3 fourths x minus 3 is your answer. Now, you could go through and use point slope form. You'd get the same thing just a whole lot more steps. So pay attention when you know if the x value is 0, that is my y-intercept. All right, let's do one more just for fun. Uh, this is a little bit more challenging. We're going to have some fractions. 
So we got, again, we're starting with our slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I have 3 over negative 2, so there's my slope, right? Negative 3 halves is the slope. I am going to use the point, um, just for fun, 7, 4. So y minus y1 equals my slope times x minus x1. Okay. Next up, I want to distribute. So I still have y minus 4 on the left. Negative 3 halves times x is negative 3 halves x. And then I'm going to put do the math down here on the bottom. I have negative 3 halves times negative 7. And I'm just going to put it over 1. This does not come out nicely, right? Two negatives is a positive. 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 1 is 2. So this gives me 21 halves that I put up in my equation. Now, I add 4 to both sides. So I have y equals negative 3 halves x. But now I have to take 21 over 2 plus 4 over 1, right? Because 4 as a fraction is 4 over 1. But I don't want that. I need this to have a denominator of 2. So if I multiply the denominator by 2, I have to multiply the numerator by 2. So I'm going to have 21 halves plus 8 halves, which 21 plus 8 is 29. And there it is. So when you're dealing with fractions, it's the same amount of steps. You're just going to have to do some fraction work in the middle of all of that, too. Good times.